he's got a 40% lead. Yes, yeah, he has to work much harder than Aeroling does to get into it, but he's still getting in. Uh, Olimar having incredibly long grab range, just picking, you know, just run out and bring him right to him. Oh, Tried possibly takes it all with the pigment. Oh, great Steve's down working. air. Wow. That was a beautiful down air. It was looking like a really aggressive first stock from Aerolink. It was going to go in his favor. Great way to turn it around. And Army is doing exactly what he needs to do in this matchup. And instead of just playing to his character's advantage, he needs to play smart. Yes, that's what he's doing. That was incredible, like, knowing and awareness of the position he was in, the bad position Aerolink was in, and throwing out that down air. Great stuff. Punishing Olimar's not-so-good recovery. Well, not so safe. Very linear. Yes. Great recovery. And yeah, that was something that was well, not with, Well, the bad thing with it is that when you're in Olimar's recovery, like some other characters like Duck Hunt and um, uh, Rob, you're not able to attack while you're doing your recovery. So you're really, really vulnerable. So this stock is looking completely backwards from how it was before. We see the Olimar right in the lead right now. Army is playing phenomenally the second stock. He's adapting very well, and he's getting in up close to get those pick out of me. just saw right there. Not letting him get time to put out that reflector. All right, I have a yellow one chipping away. I'm not really sure the damage ratio for the pink one, but I feel like the yellow, I think, is the second strongest behind yeah. the white. I mean, behind the, um, as in chip damage while yeah, it's hitting. Yeah, as in chip damage. It's white. behind the white, right? It's like, it's like, it was like white. Yellow, red. Don't quote me on this. I, I think that's how it is. Like white, yellow, red is in chip damage. Yeah. And the purple is, one just like smacks him in the face. Yeah. Yellow is super average. Blue is for throws. White is for damage on chipping. Good jabs in the up smash. Really, really great awareness. Getting uh, that. Okay, so that combo is really good on a lot of characters because it forces a lot of people to air dodge uh, instead of jumping. So if, if you jump out of it, you may not get hit. But if you air dodge like what Army did right there, you get a guaranteed smash attack. And he went for the up smash off the top. Yeah, and jab up smash is definitely one of the better combos that Palutena has yes. now that the down throw to up air is a little less guaranteed. Yeah, especially since Palutena is a super tall character. So it just picks a lot of shorter characters right up. Oh, yes, please. I want KK. I wish it was Saturday. I want KK to play. 2 a.m. is the best. No, all of KK's. Okay, it was like it was like DK, like not cruising. It was like DK something. Not DK. K KK. KK. KK cruising is the best one. KK cruising. Thank you. Yes, KK cruising is the best. I love it. I love her. There is, if it is nighttime, you do have a chance of getting KK gumbo. Ooh. Okay, I love all of KK's songs. So this is when he comes on. It's like I'm just gonna play on Smashville and Town and City the entire night because I listen to KK. They went to Smashville. It's 2 a.m. Guys, not really, but. We're getting this run back. It's 2 a.m. somewhere. <laughs> so that was actually a really close uh, match. Surprisingly, seeing how that was a really disadvantageous matchup for uh, Olimar, he really, Army really kept that game incredibly close. Yeah, and Army, and like, like we said last time, he's been doing a good job of adapting. And for example, he's not allowed to just keep his range and throw Pikmin all day. He's got to get in close to get those Pikmin. Yes, but look at him getting in right in there, getting those grabs. He gets two grabs back to back for a, follow, a forward air follow up. Palutena, like you said, a large character, and that does mean that she's going to be a little easier to grab. Yes. Oh, great up air with the purple Pikmin. Knocking her up. Another up smash. Wow. Purple. Gosh, that took it off far earlier than I expected it to. No rage either. Purple Pikmin, man. Better nerf him. Better nerf her ninja, actually. <laughs> um, gosh, those purple Pikmin doing work for army right now. Oh, for the spike. Right? Oh, I, kinda, I get it. His name's Army. He plays Olimar as a little Pikmin army. Oh, I see that. Okay, okay. yeah, that makes sense. Good grab from Marilyn. Trying to go for the, the Celestial hoo-ha. Ooh, falls down for a forward tilt. Yeah, Olimar is saying, I got punches and jabs too. Ooh, almost catches him. Army's actually doing a very good job of punishing Aerolink's warps, which he's very good at uh, platform canceling that. Yes. He's getting right in there with it. Yes. Oh, gets caught with the up air, gets the wings, that Red Bull coming into play. I'm gonna, that's gonna catch on. I'm gonna keep saying Red Bull, it's gonna catch on. <laughs> All right, we are at an even stock game. Palatena at 58%, but that's not too much. Unless Olimar throws that forward smash with the fire, Red Pikmin. Ooh, great forward so He's utilizing the forward so very well. All right, this is looking pretty, 
in Olimar's favor right now. Palatin at 116%. She's actually a fairly light character. So one up smash, one forward smash, any smash attack right now will Was kill her. Is that a pun? Is it? <laughs> uh, Infinity's rubbing off on me. The pun master. Oh, good grab. Reading, like you said earlier, really good at punishing his um, teleports. But you see, he didn't immediately go for the throw because he didn't have the blue Pikmin out. If he had the blue Pikmin out, that's a dead Palutena, and it's game three. Yes. All right, 150. The blue Pikmin just chipping away at Palutena. This is actually a pretty bad situation for either character. Olimar is having the problem of taking off the stock. And with this amount of rage, one stray smash attack will finish. Like another jab to up smash will take out Olimar. And rage is actually, you can talk about rage in a negative aspect a lot, but it does help speed up this game. Yes. I think, I think rage carried Olimar a little too far. Oh, wow. That was a scary situation to be in. Very smart from Aerolink. That was a really smart recovery. Oh, gets caught. Clips him. That was the back air with the yellow Pikmin. Electricity shocking him and shooting him right off the, the side blast zone. And that yellow Pikmin is right in the middle of just about everything in terms of knockback and damage. Really? Yeah, it's actually, it's it's apart from blue, I think it might be right in the middle of damage. Okay, awesome. So blue is like the middle, and uh, yellow is a little bit above it? Yellow, I think, is a little bit above it, yeah. All right. And then red comes right after that? Yeah, and then red's after that. And All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, guys, learn your Olimar. Watch out for the reds and purples, especially the whites when they're stuck on you. I mean, Ami's looking like a commander right now. Yeah, I mean, gosh, that was a really, really good second game. Like, in the first game, you saw him learning, adapting, slowly getting better at the Palutena matchup. Then he takes it game two. I really wanna, I'm really excited to see this game three. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. See, I have old song references. I know some old songs. Shoutouts to the... Uh, 40s? 40s? Is I that have, from the 40s? I have no idea what time period that song's mm -hmm. from. I know songs from like the 60s and up, so if it's 40s, I probably, I actually I may. I know some old ones, like you know, Moon River, um, everything by, uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name, and I'm gonna say I know songs by him. <laughs> uh, Frank Sinatra. There we go. Frank I Sinatra. knew, I remembered it, guys. Okay. Yeah, the whole Rat Pack. I love them. We're around Better town learn Captain songs because we are on Town and City right now. Yes, we are. Oh, that was a nice little exchange there. It's knocking them right back and forth. Good grab right into the forward air. Yeah, he got him with that white Pikmin and already at 38% off of just two or three Pikmin. Yeah. Now, personally, I love this stage. It's really good for actually both of these characters. I can see why, um, actually more for Palatina. I can see why Aerolink got the counter pick here. Uh, yeah. uh, this, since the ceiling is fairly low, Palatan is able to just, you know, do her Celestial so Hoo-Ha, down throw right into the up air, and it'll kill a lot earlier than it normally would. But on the same aspect, Olimar will get the uh, the up throws, I think it is, with the blue Pikmin. Yes, I was actually very surprised with Aerolink. He warped right into Olimar. Army was just sitting right there waiting. He knew what Aerolink was going to do, and then Aerolink just followed through. It looked a lot like he was going for the cancel on the up B more than getting away from him. Yes. And that purple Pikmin almost taking him purple Pikmin. right into the blast zone. super scary. He needs to find a way to get rid of that. Oh, knocks him right down. Has come back. Nope. He had to slap his own Pikmin right there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Good back air. So he's been really, you know, active in throwing out his Pikmin and just getting them and getting that chip damage on Palatina, which is really good, especially when he's able to land a really strong smash attack. And it's doing a lot of work because we're not seeing Aerolink try to kill the Pikmin so much when they're on him. Yes. He's kind of just letting them chip away. If they were able to get those Pikmin off of him, I think an up air would probably knock them right off. This is like a little short hop up air to probably get them off. Even a neutral air should do enough damage. Honestly, yeah, but I feel like that would give him a lot of lag and he could get punished easier for it. I feel like up air would be a little bit safer. Ooh, up throw. Yep. yep. That's going to be it. All right, he's got Throwing a purple. away that white Pikmin. That is straight up murder. Hey, hey, he's got three of the strongest Pikmin for damage right now. So Palatina better watch out and find a way to take out the stock. Or is it going to look like a really Pikmin army one game? 97%. He is at a strong position. Yeah, he's in a really at a strong position right now. He's great job DIing that down throw away so he's not able to get punished uh, with the up air. And Erlink's trying to catch him jumping off the ledge with those up tilts, but it's just not happening. He tries to go. Good air dodge from army. 
down throw to forward air. Gets the blue Pikmin. Catches him warping. He is so good at reading that warp. Ooh, gets caught by the up air. All right. He's got a lot of extra credit on uh, Aero Link right now. Let's see how Aero Link's going to be able to bring this back. Or Armin is going to take this game 2 one. And he's going to keep building up that damage. Yes. I mean, that is what Olimar does. It, it is exactly like commanding an army. Exactly. Sending out your soldiers to do your damage and you come in for the final strike yourself. Definitely like a commander commanding an army. You're very correct. Ooh, don't press... yeah. Go ahead. No, no, I was just saying that Olimar's got a little ways to go to bring up from captain to commander. <laughs> definitely, definitely. He's going to be a little bit taller first, like Al. <laughs> Is Alf taller? Yeah, I think Alf is a little bit taller. At least he's like elongated. He's uh, more, he's not as uh, chubby. So he's like, so. Ooh, great air dodge read into forward smash. That was a great bait. Short hopping, baiting out the air dodge, getting that forward smash. He's brought this back in one single really smart play. Oh, oh it's but cut. Look at the back. Wow! Yes, the the pop huge up from pop up. Armies. Dang. Dang. I want to see that replay. Wow. That was. That was nice. That was really, really smart from Army. Gosh, Olimar coming in and taking it. The SM crew right behind the Army, captain right commander, there. right in there. Gosh, yeah, SM crew coming in strong tonight. Okay, so I really want to see uh, 